Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 19 for Laravel Hotel Management System. And in this video, we are going to work on the booking uh, in the admin panel. Okay, in the booking system for the booking system in the admin panel. Okay, so in our previous video, if you see, then uh, we are checking uh, that uh, how many rooms are available for the particular day. Okay, and we are checking with the uh, check we are checking with the check-in date if you select like if you select a 12 and you out of the focus from this field then you can see that here that uh, it will show the availability of the rooms so currently we have uh, two rooms available here you can see that so what we need to do here now so here you can see that we have a uh, check-in date is 2 5 checkout date is uh, 4 10 and uh, uh, for the 12 it is available okay so we need to show the available rooms in the this field in the available rooms and then we will submit this data okay and uh, we will select uh, actually we are uh, we are going to work on this form with the proper uh, everything is uh, we will check that everything is working or not okay so let's uh, work on this uh, form uh, i think we have uh, uh, done half work in this uh, and uh, now we need to perform the half another and we will also modify our dashboard and remove from the like this search and uh, notification things from our page okay so first of all let's complete this form so i will open <coughs> so the first thing we will open this uh, form and we will open this uh, resource views and let's go for the booking and create okay and here we will so we have data in the json okay in this console we have data so what we are going to do we need to add data here okay so this will be a room list you can say and let's copy this and we will run this we have data in the loop so what we will do let's say where html equal to empty and dollar dot each response dot so we have in the response we are getting this data okay so response let's name it let's name it uh, like a uh, data this thing okay and uh, let me silence my phone fine okay so let's refresh the page here and uh, run this again if you blur on this field then it will show you the data in the data in the uh, data wrapper you can see so this will be response dot data and we will run here index and the another is element or you can simply say data or just row you can say okay and now we will concatenate the row in the html this thing and we will create the options okay so this thing so here we will say row dot so what is the name title okay so row dot title and in the value we will say row dot id fine okay so let's and now we need to append this in this uh, selection uh, list so i will go here and let's say dot html dot html means it will add the html and this will be here okay and before adding before adding while it is fetching the data from the server then we will show loading where we want to show loading we will show the loading here in the room list we will create an empty option this will be option okay and in this we will say loading okay now let's see this so customer select this select checkout date 
let's say check check out date is 15 check in is 12 so here you can see that room 1 and room 2 okay and let's say adults are adults are 2 and children are 2 and uh, <coughs> we are saving this data or not actually we are not saving this data currently so uh, let's uh, create the create the system for saving this data so i will copy any one of the like customer i will uh, say the customer and we will just copy all the things okay and go to the here and we don't need we are not saving any file here so we don't need this file and uh, let's let's go to the uh, php my admin and uh, go to here and let's say customer id so customer id we need require room id is required okay check out what things are required actually total adults so these five fields are required okay so check out check in date is required so here check out date is required here okay and so we are performing this form validation okay so check out total adults required okay fine okay now <clears throat> we need to import the booking model so here booking model okay okay so this is the booking model <coughs> and uh, uh, we, are, we are storing here the booking model now this is the customer id room id check in date check out date uh, total adults and we also going to save total children so what is the name of this field uh, let's go for the total children here okay and this will be request so i will just copy these things uh oh this is fine this is fine and we need to paste it here this will be go here this is go here this will go this will go this will and this will. okay now we need to go to the booking create data has been added and uh, i think we are done let's see we have a success message uh, we are showing the form uh, data and uh, we are saving the form let's one time check the model so this is our booking room so this is book, booked room and we have created this booking so actually we need to we will use this booking model okay i don't know why we have created a booked room maybe we will delete that okay so <clears throat> uh, let's let's book the room so i will open this browse select customer john doe and for the 12 we have something and uh, check in date check out date is 15 room is 2 total adults are 2 children let's say 1 and submit so it is saying okay you understand what we are doing wrong okay so here we need to add the booking because we have copied this from the customer so that it is saying actually we need to add here booking let's go to the routes here it is go to routes and web and here you can see that we have admin booking okay so this is admin and booking and let's go to here and let's select this again 15 room 2 2 1 sub so customer id field is required room id field is required okay so we need to define here the name that is that will be customer id okay and the another name is uh, room id so this will be room id now we are done so john doe and uh, we have 12 this is uh, 15 
room is 2, 2, 1 and submit. So room ID must be valid email address. Okay, we have performed the validation as it is copy from the customer and we are not changing this so that it is saying this thing. So, <clears throat> so let's go here and go here. So this is 15, this is 2, 2, 1 and submit. So data has been added. Let's go to browse and here you can see that everything is created now okay and if you if you want to perform the uh, booking for the same day then let's see what it will show let's see so this is for room one actually we have booked for room two so that it is now showing only room one okay so we have saved our booking data now when we will go to the front end then we will see that how we can perform with the payment gateway okay Okay, so well, let's remove this search and uh, do these things. And we have also a logout button. When we click on this, it will show the pop. It is showing the pop up. So we will implement the logout uh, here. Okay, so let's go to let's go to layout. This is layout, and let's go to search where it is. Uh -oh. Room type whatever it is this is sidebar and this is search this is search remove this search okay and now we need to remove this uh, ul from this we need to remove search drop down actually we need to remove alerts so this is the thing okay, we will remove this and of course I will upload all the things on github so you can download that okay and we will remove this here okay fine and uh, we don't need this name so I will remove this uh, anchor we will just remove this image uh, span actually not image span and uh, we have this uh, three things actually four we will remove all the things just as it is the logout button because we need this logout and when we click on the logout we will pass this th link yeah, in the logout okay so let's go to logout here okay now logout is working in the both cases so when we click on this or when we click on this Okay, and we have removed that. Now let's go to the dashboard. So uh, we need to define the link in the dashboard also. So where it is? Uh, let's go to the dashboard here, and this will be URL, and this will be admin. So refresh the page. Dashboard and we have this thing okay so let's count the total booking here and count the total customer here and we can also count the total room types or you can count the total rooms and department here okay so let's go to count this uh, quickly and i will show you the shortcut method to count this so you can also pass this data from the dashboard controller or you have one more thing that you can do so let's uh, where it is let's go let's open the dashboard of this thing and uh, this is dashboard and let's go to earning so this will be bookings okay and here what we will do here so app i'm directly calling the models models booking and count okay so three bookings and similarly we will do this for all so this is booking and this these are the customers so this is the same thing here let's say customer okay and let's go to this thing so you can say rooms so that how many rooms we have so this will be room 
okay and then uh, uh, it is saying pending requests so we can see that how many department we have or you can say how many staff we have so staff okay so this will be staff count okay so these are the staff booking later we will uh, also modify this icon and we will show the bookings in this area chart and show the uh, show the booking according to the room type in this uh, pie chart okay and we will remove these things okay we will do this in a, our upcoming video okay and we will also uh, use this uh, generate in in uh, some way okay so in this video i just want to show you that how we have booked the room how we can save the data in the database and how we can uh, uh, how we can embed the data from the ajax that we are getting okay and uh, we have modified our dashboard so i hope you have learned lots of things from this video if you are uh, uh, learning laravel from uh, scratch and uh, yeah so thanks for watching this video thank you so much please access this playlist and uh, uh, we are go we are uh, creating this hotel management system and uh, currently the whole front end part is pending we will work on that okay so thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you.